Hey guys, my name is Radzi and I want to brighten up your day. So we are here with the ladies that lift. And then, we didn't stop there, you won the gold in the 4x1 relay. How did that feel? Was that elation? Same sound, different letters for ear. Three cheers. They are absolutely freezing. Our periscope is beginning to take shape. We're not going to stop, not going to stop until you're back on the podium. As we go on oblivion, I'm going to give you in reverse all of the locations of all of the Olympics. He's a clever parrot, this one. The big dog Pitbull, Tim Westwood. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for the love, I appreciate that. 2016, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 2012, London, England. I've been climbing without a rope for about half an hour now and I'm getting just a little bit tired. What's your best feature when it comes to bodybuilding? Smile? No, I, I don't know. I, I'm Charm. I've never... No, exactly. I am very excited. The students are coming back by the truckload. And not surprisingly, it's the place to be. Fantastic. Address? Telephone? I'll get that later on. The start of old Mission Impossible. When the likes of Jess Ennis and Usain Bolt come to this country to compete, athletics fans come in their thousands to see them do what they do best in the flesh. Well, not me, however, as I put on a red lion suit and get very up close and personal with the athletes as I am the UK athletics mascot, Spike the Lion. It's pretty fair to say that I'm sports mad. So in 2008, when I found out Sky were doing a new series of gladiators, I couldn't resist. And Ramsey's on his way too. Ramsey's giving away seven stone here. Knocked into oblivion straight away. No, he's glided around him and destroyer as well. Now he's moving through the gears and he's locked on already. Ramsey's done well though. He's reduced the lead somewhat. He's got there! He's got there! He's won it against all the odds! And it was actually off the back of Gladiators that I got involved in the sport that I currently am involved in, and that's skeleton bobsleigh. Now, it's not the one you might be thinking about. It's not cool runnings. It's not the feel the rhythm, feel the ride. It's not the no people said, no you can't believe. No. It's single man, head first, on a tea tray, chin just a few inches from the ice, going down a nice chute at 70 miles an hour. And if you're anything like me, if you love adrenaline, you will love skeleton bob today. Every night I spend like hours, literally hours, pulling out the dreadlocks. It's so painful. Welcome to my world, my friend. <laughs> Do you feel it's been harder being a white DJ? I, I wouldn't know because I've never been a black DJ. Now this one right here, it's 12 degrees and that's cold enough, I promise you. And Ronnie, so many people use you as a measuring stick. They say, imagine what it'd be like to be Ronnie Coleman. So what is it like to be Ronnie Coleman? And what's that feeling? They call your name out, you touch gloves, it's ready to fight. What's going through your head? You hear a big tune, it changes your mood, it changes your day and it sets you right. Whether you're going to work, whether you're going to school, no matter where you are, I want to make you feel good. Well, Westwood, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. LSU TV, I've been Radzi. This has been the legend Tim Westwood. Take care.